In 2021, Pope Francis came out in a documentary endorsing civil union for gay couples. He says that if a person is gay and seek God and has goodwill, who am I to judge? He went further to say that gay couples should be protected by civil union laws. He says that homosexuals have a right to be in a family because they are children of God. This is not surprising because the Catholic Church have always believed in same-sex marriage. It's just that he's the first to actually come out and say it publicly. The devil has always been the head of the Catholic Church. God was never in it. But still, you will always have some so-called Christians who worship the Pope and will stand for what they stand for, despite seeing them clearly contradicting the scriptures with their beliefs. In Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22, the scripture says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is a abomination. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 9 says, Know we not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Society has turned upside down to the point where you can't tell the woman different from the man. Not just men wearing earrings and having long hair, but it has reached a point where both male and females have transformed themselves into the opposite sex. They call themselves transgenders. Many of them don't want to be identified as a male or as a female. They want to be called they or them, which is just ridiculous. Everybody has pronouns. Like you may use he and him as your pronouns, right? I use they and them as my pronouns. We all may have a certain gender pronoun too, but I think it's important for people to understand that for trans and non-binary people, we often change our pronouns to reflect who we are when we come out and be who we are. You teachers in the schools that believe in what the word of God said. I don't care if your child gets so upset, they scream and holler. Don't you call that child that you know is a boy or that you know is a girl a them or a they. Right. And don't you let no school district force you. The devil has brainwashed them so much and has filled them with the spirit of the seed. They don't even know who they are anymore. We are truly living in the end times and it's going to get worse and worse as the years go by. You should be able to look at a man and know it's a man. You should be able to look at a woman and know it's a woman. But today, things have flipped upside down. Women are getting these hormone shots to grow full beards. Getting a breast taped down. Taking hormones to alter their voice from soprano to baritone. In the schools, biological men who claims to be women are fighting for rights to use the female locker room. This student, who the devil has deceived into thinking that he's a female, wants to use the female locker room so bad to the point that he's suing the school. We begin with a suburban student suing her high school. She's transgender and wants equal access to the locker room. CBS 2's Mai Martinez sat down with her for a candid conversation. I'm just like every other girl. I just want to use the locker room. There's nothing different about me. No, you're not like every other girl. And the difference about you is you're a biological male who have effeminate behaviors. And because of that, you think that you are a female, but you are not. You're a male. So that's the difference about you and you're not like every other girl. You're a male. Just take your clothes off and stand before the mirror. That should give you a wake up call. Many of the female students are not happy with this and have taken actions to voice their opinions. Hello ladies and gentlemen and only ladies and gentlemen it is and shall always be. I am an 18 year old high school student and wanted to take this time to bring to your attention the current issue with biological men claiming they are women and in turn truly believing that they are entitled to use women's spaces. There was an incident within our district that occurred recently regarding a transgender woman who really is a bio biological man having an altercation with a young woman at MLK High School. It was infuriating when I had seen the video on social media, but what was detrimental to this is the fact that this man is and has been using the women's restroom and locker room. 
Firstly, the question we must address is why are we affirming the mental confusion of this boy and putting the safety of women in jeopardy by allowing mentally confused men to use the women's spaces? Of course, any male who claims he is a woman will accept it. But what about the women? What about the true girls like myself who are female down to our DNA? Why don't we ever get a say in whether or not we are comfortable with this? The truth is we aren't. The majority of us aren't, and yet nothing has been done to protect the safety of these women. I will conclude with this. It all starts with you. You are in charge of the safety of us women and, our, and, the, parent, and the kids of our parents. So, so please do something about it. Thank you. It's good to see people stand up for what is right, especially young people. She said it best. They are mentally confused. It is very unfair for females to share the same locker room with biological men. It is not right. And I'm happy she stood up and spoke out against it. We need more people like her to stand up for the truth and what is right. This is the man who the teenage girl was talking about. He said that he has fully transitioned into a woman and that the situation has had a severe impact on him and the transgender community. It appears that I inadvertently caused quite a scandal on the morning of Thursday, December 29th, 2022. Kristen Wood speaking to the Santee City Council, her story about what happened that morning. As we reported, the issue at hand stemming from a 17-year-old girl saying she saw the backside of a transgender woman in the shower. That person was Wood. She says seeing the love and support from those at the meeting is giving her energy. It's really sad to see so many people cheering him on as he ends his speech. Honey, I don't run from lies and threats and bullies. That's just not in my DNA. We are truly living in a time where people call good evil and evil good. The scripture tells us that God made the woman for the man. We don't read anywhere else where God created any other gender. Our biological sex, whether male or female, was determined by God long before we were born. So it's not something that we can choose after we are born. What they are doing is fighting against God and what he made perfect. God made you a man, so you can't come afterwards and say, no, I think I'm a woman. That's just being blind, dumb, and outright wicked and rebellious. God is perfect. He makes no mistakes. Human beings are the problem. They are always coming up with things to change what God creates. The devil is truly winning the minds of many. If the devil can have a man thinking that he's a woman, or a woman thinking that she's a man, you know we are in deep trouble. That's why the scripture says in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. We who are striving to please God must hold fast to prayer and fasting, which is able to keep us firm in the Lord. We must strive to have a good relationship with God and make no room for the devil because he is waiting for that opportunity to strike. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I thank you so much for watching this video and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.